Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Bars and Barbells. I am Phil with my co-host. Hi guys, I'm Sam. And we're doing some Young Cook, I believe maybe that's how you say it. Not sure. Uh, young Cook, Young Cook, not sure. Yeah. Featuring Lotto7. And uh, we've done a little bit of BTS on, on the channel thus far. And uh, he is a member of BTS. He's blowing up on the charts right now. And that's why we're doing it's like this one song. of the most popular songs right now. Yeah, I think right it now. is the most popular song out what? right now. So that's why we thought we'd check it out because we've got some of that exposure to BTS. And it was, you know, it's cool to see what they do. They're very creative. You know, we've done songs like Mic Drop and Black Swan, which are completely different from one another. And, yeah. uh, you know, their videos are always really, really cool. So They're very creative. Yeah, so we're interested to see what this is all about. And uh, it's getting a lot of hype. You guys have been supporting, supporting this track. So we thought we'd better check it out and see what yeah. the hype is all about. And uh, like I said, we've enjoyed getting exposed to some K-pop. We've done a little bit of uh, Blackpink as well. I know you guys don't like it when we mention the two groups together. Do not However, <laughs> and we're not. We're just saying that that was our introduction to K-pop. Um, we've also uh, done um, So Hyang has been uh, another Korean artist that we've got exposed to. She's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so you know. I'm going to be checking out something new from uh, another Korean artist here, yeah. and but on a solo solo respect. So are you excited to check it out? Because I, I know you've liked some of the BTS stuff, right? Yeah, I have. And I think it'll be interesting to see like a solo aspect. And like you said, it's obviously very popular. So I'm interested to see what all the hype's about. Yeah. And maybe you can find another workout track. Because I know you've put some of those BTS tracks on your workout playlist. Yeah, so maybe this one will be, will be another one. Although I think it's supposed to be a love song. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Let's do it, guys. Sorry to kill your vibe, Samantha. I know you were grooving there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been out. So what are your thoughts so far on Seven? I really like it, the song. I'm a little bit kind of confused because I feel like the lyrics of the song are a little bit contradictory to what's going on in the video. But the song itself, I really, really like. I feel like it's very upbeat, uh, very catchy. It has like a little, It's I know it's like kind of poppy, but it also has a little bit of like hip hop flavor in there to me, I feel like with the beat of it. Um, and he's kind of like rapping a little bit on the hooker, like, when he's saying days of the week. Uh, but so far, I really like it. What about you? Yeah, well, I think, you know, you're highlighting some of the things that we've experienced in our journey with BTS, right? And that they tend to combine a lot of different musical components or yeah. genres together. You know, you, you could throw a little bit of R&B in there, like you said, a little hip hop, a little bit of pop. You know, you, you got a, you know, it's the... Like fusion. Yeah, it's, it's definitely combining a a few different aspects into one and I think that's what makes them unique and why a lot of people like them is and you know that them I say BTS but obviously he's kind of transporting that over into his solo career and I think he's great I think mm -hmm. you know it's really hard for us to sometimes I think pick out each group member mm -hmm. you know and and so I'm not sure I've 
I would be able to recognize him from a previous song, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the vocal prowess, yeah. but he's got a really strong vocal, really great vocal, mm -hmm. his delivery and his clarity, uh, the, his voice using his clarity is great. Um, you know, I think the song itself is obviously a hit record. I see why it's so popular. Yeah. It's so catchy. It's, it's going to be know, stuck in my head later. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, got a great, you know, short, sweet hook that he puts together, upbeat, lots of energy, but uh, still got that, like, love tune vibe. And yeah. so I think it's a great, you know, great composition. I think he did a great job with this one. I'm sure we're going to get into Lotto in a minute, and that yeah, might be a little bit different. Um, but uh, I think, you know, like I said, just overall, it's a great song, and I can see why it's gone up the charts pretty quickly. And, uh, you know, kudos to him for stepping out, doing his own thing and yeah. really having it take off. And I think he's done a great job with this. So, um, uh, you know, like I said, well, I guess we'll see what Lotto's going to do. Yeah. I, I got a feeling, though, it's going to be like you said, it's going to throw this track off a little bit because, um, you know, I think she's got a little more of an aggressive style. Yeah. And, player. <laughs> yeah, and he's obviously not, you know, he's coming in and, and doing his thing, but it's not like anything in your face. It's, you know, yeah. very pleasant sounding and all that, right? Yeah. So, you ready to check out what she's going to do? Let's all right. Take your phone and put it in the camera roll. Let them close at the door. What you ain't for? Better come and hit your goal. Uh, he jumping in both feet. Going to the sun up, we ain't getting no sleep. Seven days a week, seven different sheets. Seven different angles, I could be your fantasy. Open up, say, ah. Come here, baby, let me swallow your pride. What you want, I can match your vibe. Hit me up and I'm a cha cha slide. You make Mondays feel like weekends. I make him never think about cheating. Got you skipping work and me. Fuck it, let's sleep in. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, seven days a week. Every hour, every minute, every oh, second, no, 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 night after night. I'll be loving you right seven days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Nothing else, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, so we got Lotto in there, and uh, like I said, it was kind of what I expected it was going to sound like. Um, I don't like. I understand why she's there because it adds this crossover, and and you know it's going to reach a different audience and and all that. And it didn't sound bad by any means. Um, I thought she, you know she came in, did her thing with her delivery and all that, and you know obviously it wasn't crazy Picked vocally. Up the sex appeal a little bit in yeah. there. <laughs> But I just like, I do kind of find it a little bit weird because she's so aggressive and he's so nice. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like normally you'd expect it to be a reverse yeah, almost. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it was fine. And like I said, I think it sit in well with the song in the terms of the composition. But like from a lyric standpoint, I was like, eh. You know, I, I feel like you could, she probably could have wrote a verse a little bit differently in there. But I, I really liked his his component. I think he did a fantastic job. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a crossover appeal still with it. And clearly it's <laughs> clearly nobody cares what I think about that because it's number one on the chart. So, you yeah. know, uh, everybody's probably liking that aspect. It adds a different flavor to it. Yeah, and I think too, like, you know, even like he, you said he's not aggressive, but the song is very high energy. And I feel like she came in with high energy in a different way mm -hmm. uh like uh, with kind of like you said a little bit more of the aggression or like the like girl attitude kind of vibe right so i feel like it, it stuck with the song in terms of like an energy standpoint it was just a little bit more intense I yeah i mean i don't like i said i don't really care either either way right because like i've listened to the hardest gangster rap there is yeah, ever, yeah, yeah. right? You're so, just saying, like, you, you know, know like, like, like the way with the song. Comes yeah, out. you know, I was bumping 50 Cent through and through back in the, <laughs> you know, back in uh, yeah. when In the Club in 2003 was out, you know, and all the other stuff that came with it. But, um, so it's not like that's off putting for me in any yeah, way. Yeah. It's just the, 
the composition of the song that I'm referring to yeah. is like, you know, the meshing of the well, artist. She's talking about loving you right, and she's talking about swallowing yeah. your pride. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to. It's like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. it's just the, the it's a w- interesting collaboration. We'll yeah. put it that way. Yeah. Um, so I, but I enjoyed the song overall, and you know, if uh, you know, we weren't paying attention to it as much, I probably wouldn't even have, you know, yeah, picked like it actually out. like breaking it down in front yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, kudos to the, both of them hitting the number one and, uh, you know, that's not easy to do. So, uh, clearly it was, it, it is successful thus far and you enjoyed it. Yeah. I was jamming out. I saw that. Just wanted to make sure. Double check. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. If you agree with what we said, if you disagree, that's okay. <laughs> Just keep it polite. And, uh, you know, if you, this is your first time on the channel, We've been doing reaction videos for a while now. we got lots more coming. So if you want to hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow, we'd love to have you. And you can check out what content we got. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. See you then.